Continuing cold temperatures greeted the competitors in the youth women's sprint today. A sharp wind made clean or close to clean shooting a hard task. Despite a single penalty, Germany's Anna Weidel took the early lead, flying around the tracks to claim an initial one minute lead on the field. Lisa Vitozzi, the 2013 youth sprint silver medalist, became her biggest challenger. Mi sentivo bene e ho guadagnavo sempre di più e ho dato tutto quello che potevo. For the Italian, gold would be determined by the final 2K loop. She found some extra strength in that final loop and picked up 12.6 more seconds to claim the win. France's Julia Simon matched her rivals on the shooting range but was unable to match their speed on the tracks, finishing 18.3 seconds behind. No, mi aspettavo di, di fare un bel risultato. Mi sono preparata molto su queste gare qui e mi, as, mi aspettavo un buon piazzamento e è arrivato e sono molto contenta. Conditions for the youth men's sprint in the afternoon were almost the same as for the women. Speed on the tracks was the key to winning medals today as the shooting penalties piled up. The pre-competition favorite, Sean Doherty of the U.S., the silver medalist from 2013, was as troubled by the wind as anyone. He had two prone penalties, which immediately put him at a 35-second deficit. Two misses is too, too many in my book, so uh, I was really, I was a little nervous out there on course. Despite that, his skiing put him near the top of the field as he set up for standing where he missed two more shots. However, he left with the lead. While Doherty was heading home, Russia's Dmitry Shamayev, with just three penalties, moved a few tenths ahead as he left standing. Doherty's medal hopes were pinned on his fast skis. He crossed the finish line initially with a 40-second lead. Shamayev could not match the U.S. Olympian, crossing 18 seconds behind. Next to the last starter, Marco Gross, son of multi-Olympic and world champion Rico Gross, challenged with a clean prone stage, moving into the top spot. He also struggled in standing, but left with just two penalties and a 13.8 second lead on Doherty. By the final split, Gross's lead was down to three seconds. But like the other challengers, he slowed down in the final kilometer, leaving Doherty as the gold medalist. Great feeling, certainly. Hard to find words for, for how happy I am right now. Hopefully a little less wind in a couple days and uh, get the shooting back together and retain the pursuit title. That would be awesome.